Hi friends, sorry to know host Derek here. Welcome to another exciting edition of The Type Police. Try as you might, you just can't hide. Cause you're Miss Type. And I've been waiting to pull you over all night. Type Police, Type Police. Okay, so underneath my badge here, I've got a perp and uh, purportedly an INFJ. I can tell you going in, I got my doubts. Come on out, lady. There you are. This one is called Choice and Freedom as a Feminist INFJ. Let's watch a little bit of it first. I want to take a quick moment today as I'm hiking through the Dolomites in Italy. Check out this awesome view. I posted a video yesterday. trying to talk about my experience as a woman and um, I decided to use the word choice in the image that accompanied the video and I got a lot of reaction that I wasn't particularly thinking about or expecting and so today I just want to take a moment <laughs> to reclaim the word choice Okay, let me point out that she wasn't thinking about or expecting the reaction she got. Does that sound very INFJ-ish to you? It doesn't to me. She's not coming across as INFJ-ish. She's coming across as an FI user for sure. She's got that FI uh, could cry at any moment quality to her voice, you know? That's not necessarily indicative that she's going to cry or anything. It just, it's got that sort of, uh, you know what I'm talking about, Cameron. Right? I'm not gonna get any help here. Okay, listen. I hear you guys about the somebody. Somebody complained because I used the term "cuck face" uh, as, and that it distracted them in the last video. And I, you know, it's like it's not a, a term I use on a regular basis. It was just it was appropriate to the circumstance because that's what it reminded me of. You know. Anyway, uh, I I will try to be as fi respecting as possible. In my my police duties, okay. You called somebody a cuck face? I didn't call them that. I said that he chosen a poor image, that it, it was re reminiscent of cuck face. Who's cuck face? Cuck face is not a person, cuck face is a face. Oh. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's continue. Don't be a cuck face. Alright, I won't. For a woman. I'm reclaiming the word choice for a woman. I'm saying that twice because I feel like if I cannot put a picture of myself with the word choice next to it without inviting violent words to be thrown at me, then there's a problem. <laughs> and, I, and choice isn't... All right, well, I'd have to hear what the words are, but I'd like to point out that words usually aren't violent. Unless they're saying things like making physical threats, like I want to kill you or something. That would be, Those would be violent words, and those would be not protected speech as well. Now, granted, you're in Italy where they have different laws and stuff. But, um, uh, yeah, just because somebody disagrees with your position or presumes a position or attacks a position, those aren't violent words. Violent words are things like kill, maim, I mean, those words that actually threaten violence, if somebody's positioning themselves in opposition to you, that's not any sort of violence, okay? That's the opposition to violence, that's discourse. <coughs> so, this is a typical SFP, <coughs> NFP thing. 
that happens. Uh, I'm leaning S, but it's hard to say for sure. Let's watch a little bit more. Just talking about one thing. When I'm talking about choice, I'm speaking from, yes, my experience as a woman, but also my ex experience as a human, as a person. And I feel like cho choice cannot be limited to one thing and it and it terrifies me to see that word creating such a reaction to to <laughs> for people to be so angry what were they angry about um because as an INFJ I for me <sighs> Freedom is like, freedom and independence are like some of my most important values. And if I don't have the choice, if I can't talk about choice. SE Dom or any Dom. You can talk about anything you want. The thing is, what you're saying is other people can't talk about things the way they want. That's what you're saying. That's SFP shit. Let's watch this one. INFJ feels and thinks. This is where our tool functions are probably running afoul of each other. This is probably an ESFP because, could be an ENFP still, because what we're seeing here is her using her FI as justifications as though it were TI, and that offending me. And it does offend me. <laughs> you know, just as, you know, Kimberly. The other night, somebody came into the room one, and he was a very socially withdrawn, probably, in general, uh, INTJ or STJ. I couldn't tell immediately, but I could I could smell the polar FE right away. Kimberly was not particularly compassionate about this. She sees it as sort of like a character flaw when you don't come in and, and greet people and and do the social niceties at all and, and or make like he kind of said something that didn't really make sense right like about he, well, he just yeah it wasn't making any well, sense well he was he was struggling because I don't know I didn't know. realize he was struggling though I thought that you were catching on or like I thought you knew what he was saying and so I was looking at you and I was trying to understand and he, I, no I was being understanding of the polar FE I didn't realize right. it was polar FE so okay so Kim gets a little offended but this is natural you, I get offended by this because it smacks of polar TI and TI is my tool function and so the fact that I'm getting offended by this person right away <laughs> is, is highly suggestive that they're either ENFP or ESFP ESFP is much more likely to go straight to the offending thing because the ENFP will dilly dally around with some random ideation about stuff usually. So let's let's give her a little bit more time and then I have a, a very, very strong feeling, unless she suddenly turns shit around here, that she is going to the slammer. ...on thinkers and feelers. I feel like I've seen somewhere that INFJs tend to never quite fit in with either the thinkers or the feelers because I guess we have, uh, we're really kind of torn between the two in a way. I don't know. There's something that I'm feeling <laughs> about the whole kind of thinker and feeler dichotomy, and I think I've kind of seen something about this somewhere, but I can't find it anymore. I'm personally finding that in the MBTI kind of community, there, this is maybe just the feeling that I'm getting because of the discomfort. Oh my God, you are like not an INFJ. Thinkers. <laughs> Who, that is SE rambling too. It's not any rambling, right? Her, her parentheticals and her tangentials are not ideational, they're about like where she saw something and whether she saw it again or, or and stuff like that. This is not the behavior of an INFJ at all. This is an ESFP. <laughs> I was going to say that. Yeah, but let's, you know. I picked that I, last one. She's ESFP 100%. And I want to show additionally this. Uh, look at her channel. And her videos. 
This is an action type person. How do we know it's an action type person? Three hours ago, 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 three hours ago. Okay, yeah, no, that's... Three days, four days, five days, week, a week, a week. Um, the point is, this is, a, this is not an introverted intuiter who's, who's giving us ideas that are... She's talking about dream interpretation. Like, what does a photographer mean in your dreams? It means you want to be somebody or whatever. I, I don't know. The point is, uh, you're not an INFJ in any way, shape, or form. So you're going to the slammer. I'm sorry, but you're going to the slammer. I think she needs the jail bars. Okay, Kim. Kim's requesting the jail bars, so you're going to get them, lady. Yeah, jail bars. Jail door is closing. YouTube. Here we go. You're in the women's detention center now, lady. You're in the ladies' version of jail. All right, thanks for watching, and stay safe out there. If you have any more typological crimes, oops. That's where you're going. Yeah, that, that's where you're going. So, uh, talk to you next time. Try as you might. You just can't type. Because you're mistyped. And I've been waiting to pull you over all night. Type police. Type police. Please pull that guy over. He says he's my MTP, but seems extroverted sensing to me. I think he's ESFP. Or type police.